Ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, trash can all, good evening and welcome back to Trash Tier Gaming. I've gone ahead and gotten our friend over in the clocks up and running again. And you new folks, staring at the trash fire, sitting at the edge of the light there. Snack tables to your right, you'll find the spare chairs under there. Drinks to your left. And come on in, the trash can don't bite. Feel free, get comfortable. We're gonna be here a minute at least. We're gonna lead the our good buddy here out to Horowitz. This used to be a regular office wing before the threshold manifested. The forces at play ah, yes, the bee footage. Old clock and started duplicating. Now the office is abandoned and its clocks all the way to the <laughs> Ooh, two for one special again. Dude, just going for it. I mean, to his credit, he is keeping him pretty stun locked. Oh, good, good job, my dude. Not, not a lot of folks do that and survive. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm bad. for an altered item? The anchor, yeah. Langston said it'd be a simple item to treat. But the power of that thing had. I I've never seen anything like it. Huh? Oh, hey. What have we here? Postbox supplement. A little early for a reading, but hey. Postbox supplement. Let's see. Jasper Postbox. AI. Free one P. Background. Agents arrived at the town of Jasper Crossing, Arizona, after the communications department intercepted multiple phone calls to local authorities regarding frozen people in the streets. Four of the five dispatch agents became paralyzed upon arriving at the scene. Additional segment teams were dispatched. Variations of identification formulas were tried with ineffectual results. Agents resorted to using aerial photography to study the positioning of the paralyzed individuals. Soon after, agents discovered the event's epicenter to be the local post office. Unaffected agents cleared the area of all paralyzed civilians, animals, and bureau personnel before beginning to study the item. Agents deemed susceptible to the item were tasked with interviewing and re-informing the public away from the site. The item was soon placed in a transport vehicle manned by unaffected agents. Air travel has been deemed too dangerous given the item's effect. Numerous reports of temporary paralysis were reported by the civilians along the truck's route from Arizona to New York City. Bungled that one, eh? That's O'Neill. Shit. Mm. Oh, damn. That's depressing. 
Now, if I remember to call my inventory when I get a chance here. Done wonders for my hiss elevated kill counts. Ah, uh, but I didn't pay attention to that inkle he had on me. Ulta. Well, back to the checkpoint. No, no, I'm I'm recording this at the wrap up to my my yearly vacation, at least the first half. Things have gone pretty smooth otherwise. Oh, Let's from go. the very top. Oof. All right. Uh. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely calling in the Pierce. This is Denali. Oh yeah, those do still count. Alright, Central Executive Collector Ward. Nah, I just need to hit a control point, dude. Central Executive. Okay. Well, we might go free for free yet. Seriously, that was just open this time? Mm -hmm. Alright, juke by the B-roll. Well, I'm glad they at least buried what I'm fighting. Appreciate that. have something besides the malaise of instant repeat. I don't know, we're in there, just just random whiteboard. <sighs> so open this time? Well, heck. Alright, well, let's make sure we're topped off then. Do you need damage that go around? Okay. Well, away we go. Did not want to catch that spike, man. <laughs> Glad that worked. Worked out this time.
You know, I never finished the acre. You'll, you'll see, you'll see part of the why when I get to it, but uh, just uh, gave me an awful lot of troubles. Top side? That seems like a lightning glitch. Can't hop need to come up deal with my way from I'm there. Later. If I open the safe room now, Wells could get hurt. This is true. So that's a, that's a good, very responsible call, Jesse. So we got a corrupted sample, conceptual thought, tropic apo. Okay. Uh, ah, refrigerator supplement. Can you tell us why you left the building that day? I was running out to get eggs. There was that quarter store on 40th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. I knew he would. I uh, wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left. His crayons out. Happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back and started digging. The city workers found Mikey later beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. A ton of bricks fall on it. And those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the incident? Why? It still had his drawings. God must have kept them safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a real bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your hands drawings still on it? they gotten stuck to it or something. I thought about cutting them off those magnets, but maybe it was better I didn't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, everyone said. So what's my fridge got to do with the building collapse anyhow? End of relevant portion. ID Arctic Queen. <laughs> Panopticon Floor 4, Unit 15. Boy, howdy. Oh, and, uh... Blackrock, Ocean View, Spare Footage, Altered Workspace, etc., etc. We'll, we'll leave some mysteries for you to explore by yourself. Can't... Can't and shouldn't ruin all the bonuses. All the fun stuff. Oh, just so many goddamn clocks. When it was clear we couldn't contain the old cadet, Carl was ordered over the trip. We got out, but Hiss was waiting for us. I took Carl once to the motel court and went back for the others. That was brave of you. I'm the medic. It's my job. Ah, uh, I need a lot of money to rebuild those crappers. His notes. Research. Uh. Containment, hostile maneuvers, kill enemies in containment. I'll take that. It is, why not? Vision, ability tactics. Show them using abilities. Huh? And let's see, we got an aim fire boost. Thirty-six. Not a big jump over the current equip, but hey. What 
just shave off the unneeded. There we go. Gained any new damage mods? Just a boost damage versus armor. Okay. Woof. Well, can't all be Skittles and beers. Oh, I found the explosivos. Well, that's two less that I need to bring. Ah, that worked out. Ambush the ambush. Great. Accidentally mash the stream button. <laughs> Whoops. Shabby launch efficiency. Oh, there's a remote fault. Alright. Accuracy boost. Come on. The motel court is on the other side of logistics. Horowitz should still be there. I've been here. Yeah, I've been here. The other side of logistics means getting in a scrap. Oh no, it's. Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, let's take a look at that map. So. This away? Yeah, this way. Well, I'll worry about that level 5 restricted door in a moment. Did, did I lose my loot? Let's go. Okay. Meet at the control point. All right, all right, I got gotcha. you. That's me not not interpreting the operation of the machine correctly again. Hold on. Something's wrong. Here. Shit. It's dirty. But it do work. Oh. 
look at the life bar in Horowitz. Shot boost. Okay. I don't know. I, that's probably going to be thrown right into the trash, but we got it. I think well, Horowitz is a reference to I'm Mechanical sorry, for Horowitz. Thanks. Or is it a Mechanical for Horowitz? Thanks for coming to get me. Horowitz's HRA must have been damaged in the threshold. Guy never put himself first. At Ugh. least the anchor altered item is still locked away down in the clox. I hope it rots down there. That altered Fair item enough. needs to be dealt with before it hurts anyone else. Yeah, but I should go back down and contain it. it. Head to the executive sector, Wells. They could use a medic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how? I'll go see what good I can do there. Oh, and mod points. How lovely. Alright, let's see what variety of awesome we got here. Got any of that lore? Ooh, we got some more loose lore. There we go. AWE, rising frequency. Compiled by Agent Leeson, or Lisa Keener, the external investigator. By order of... Mm, not applicable. Processes and best practices... AWE frequency. For some time now, there has been a steady increase in the annual number of AWEs that the Bureau responds to. Between 2010 and 2015, we responded to AWEs. For comparison notes, or for comparison, note that we only responded to between 1995 and 2005. Don't don't know why there's. A five-year gap between there. I think that that argument would be more compelling with the argument for in 1995 and 2005 combined. But okay, okay, okay. Is this rise the result of yeah improvement in our detection procedures, or perhaps simply coincidence? We cannot say for sure, which is why this proposal for an AWE task force. To be created within the hierarchy of the investigation sector has been compiled. We need to spend more time examining what causes AWEs rather than just containing them. Refer to file 595-117-37 for full, or excuse me, 1737 for full report. There we go. Ah. Outline. Not the con. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is mm -hmm. home to the altered items we find and contain. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols and angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable, unknowable, huh. something worse. Altered I really don't like how often the scale gets deeper. Many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful, dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. Eh. We 
put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We <laughs> contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. Eh, we'll worry about after the constructs later. I'm about to do. This is how you can slap items together. So we can go back and uh, open up that safe room in the uh, the clocks. Thing about the clocks, though. to the sealed section. The sealed section doesn't appear to have a crossover, though. The the obvious is to head towards the big black section. I think the big black section's gonna gonna help us out. Give us an obvious path forward. Betting. All right, so we got three points to spend. <sighs> All right, we we can unlock the additional launch damage or the ability to fling large enemies, which will set us up for the the cheap buy of large objects. You know what? I want to be throwing even more stuff around. There we go. Oh, hey, we finally unlocked that additional personal mod slot. That's been a minute. Alright, um, hmm. Seize Accelerator, which increases the speed by more than half. Let's see, Energy Recovery. Ooh, we're, we're gonna go right ahead and equip that. That Prime slot's... Alright, so we got launch efficiency of 15. And, uh, let's see. Health boost. Double up. Shield. I'll go with C's. I tend to forget to seize things because my natural instinct is oh dear god, kill it now, kill it with fire. Oh, right, I should see if we got enough stuff to do to do any, any form upgrades. Or, uh, well, we can't pull charge yet. We still need a second corrupted sample. We can afford to upgrade Pierce, though. Still no upgrade for the standard. Standard grip, but hey. Alright. Alright, so we have aim boost, headshot, hmm, aim fire pierce boost, can I just slap in an am armor damage against enemy armor? Eh, we aim around the armor, but okay. Could slap a second aim fire. Accuracy boost is pretty good, but this thing's dang accurate as it is. You know, reload efficiency seems like a great thing for this. It might only be 12%. It's gonna make a difference. It makes it more usable, the better. Alright, locked down. Ah, the Wall of Honor. In memory of heroic agents who gave their lives to force, a force known and unknown for the protection and greater knowledge of all humanity, we honor their sacrifices. Similar to the Book of Heroes, in which the pages are sealed at the CIA. Oh. Oh, this is going to be the rough stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Of course there's a medical ring. Get after him. Just gonna... Well, got cocky. <sighs> gotta, I gotta stop getting so aggressive. Um, I'm using, I'm using the the mid fire rate and the low fire rate dance number. I gotta be more careful. All right, again, this time, slightly less suck. We'll be back for the anchor. I promise you, you'll see me fight the anchor. Not well. You're gonna see a, a whole lot of fail. And away we go. Go to it, buddy. Alright, so I can control two. That's my C's limit. I was about to say, I hope, I hope I didn't just bring my ally for nothing. Ah, access level six. Heck you, security protocols. Oh, looks like there's a healthy bit of spores down there too. All right, we got any of the good stuff here? Oh yeah, we got some of the good stuff. All right, give me that. that hmm. show me spark ah oh, ah oh, this is one of the spark freeze okay all right no notes but an item Woo -hoo -hoo! don't mind if I do Launch efficiency, 18. Okay, she's only a 3% upgrade, but an upgrade's an upgrade. I will happily take nearly a 20% drop in the cost of launch, my primary tactic. Six access as well. Okay. Okay, those are at least weaker than the standard spories. I usually get put on my ass by the fungus bunch. Buddy. Guess I have to bottleneck in Blitz Creek. Oh, that's fine. Keep the line moving, please. They're slow, which makes it real tempting to rush. That's the problem. They're really good in close. Oh, 
Stop doing that. Okay, some of them go away. The ones down in the mushroom section. But heckin' fungus. Alright, we, we took a beating that time. Woof. Alright, I guess we got all the good stuff already. Whoa! Hack me. I'm not coming around that corner, buddy. No way, no how. Okay, I lied. Oh. Oh, well, there's that then. Plenty of tropic echoes down here. Mm -hmm. well, let's make sure I scraped every last bit of goods out of here. I might biff it if I don't pay attention on this next scrap. Just how the cookie crumbles some days. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's everything useful here. This drops us out next to security proper. More items. That launch efficiency is a real big get. I've been waiting for that for a hot minute. That's gonna be like. Uh, a little simpler for us. I feel like this is going to be a scrap. Oh, that's a cool little flower. There's going to be more of one of them. Okay, a couple more remote pots. Reminds me. How are we doing on the board countermeasures? Oh, okay. Well, we, we did at least get tactics. Using shatter. Ah, the derp. Alright, well, we'll take care of this little, little shatter dance number real quick. We're going to be doing plenty of murder up here. Oh. Ooh, global procedure. Oh, globe procedures. I'm like, global procedures? Ooh, tell me. Ah. Wolf globe. Acquisition date... 4-12-2010. Panopticon, Floor 2, Unit 9. Containment procedure. No unique procedure required. However, contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is a handmade set in dark handmade set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand painted, spins freely on all axes. While the continents and oceans are recognizable as those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous Nyeh and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it by the name Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its maker. Physical contact resenders the subjects, dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with the surrounding. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listless depression. Suicide has been observed in yeah, handlers. Ah, more, more creepy lore for, for us low hands. Oh, 
Oh, hey. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the U.S. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. And the rest of the population was hiding in plain sight. A slippery blind spot seemingly discouraging. <laughs> this already in my media collection. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 take the we'll take the media version. There we go. See every last thing going on. August fourth, nineteen sixty four. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power, an ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, mm -hmm. refer to a separate presentation. Okay, After extensive cool. research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. Mm -hmm. Like you do. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable oh. way to affect the Bureau as a whole. Well, that's what I get for mucking with my adjustments. I'm like, eh, I could bring it up a little more yet. the security point. Let's see what surprises we got here. Eh, just an item. Wow. Gripping efficiency for spin. Spin. High feed and accurate the win. The item cell locked. P6. P6 is what the bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the his found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? That's a good question. Is this the way I came? Oh yeah, that was the way I came. Okay. Ah, oh, another another cord and fire break. Hmm. Well, let's just have a poke in the. Ooh. Almost miss you. Ooh, another dodge efficiency. I'll take care of that between sessions. Ooh, another aim fire boost. Okay, we we come up with some pretty good items these days. All right. Whoa. It's not what belongs there. Yep, still orchid. Uh, let's see if can... That's unpleasant. Yeah, where am 
upside down. Sucks to be you, buddy. That is powerful unfortunate for you. Aha. Put that right side up. Let's see if that unbreaks room number one. So it though. Ow. Oh. This is nowhere near as annoying as the last puzzle. I appreciate, I appreciate you. You imply that somebody can die here, which disturbs me. Let's see, circle, circle, triangle, upward, box within box, presence. I wonder if they were going to use those. It'd be a shame to waste those. All right, fine, d It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what mm -hmm. kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. It's possible. All right, let's you and me talk. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? And all out of soda. Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board. But you're the director, so huh? here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP okay. we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it yes. will tear the Panopticon I'll apart. Just have to we go don't after want all those altered TV. items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Mm. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, huh? Langston. Hey, why are we being a jerk? The Panopticon. Dylan's close. Oh yeah, Shadow's gonna work out but great here. Object of power might wreck this place before I find him. I don't think we're gonna finish this section of this session, but we got ten minutes to fiddle with. be careful about where I mash that dodge button. Oh, it's cry of fear all over again. Or like, I hit the mash button, or I mash the dodge. Well, I don't mean the mash the dodge. I meant the mash the dodge, I just didn't know I was going to put myself through the railing. Ah, this, this section's real rough for Shatter, but we'll get it done. Alright, flash in, you goons. I said, flash in, you goons. Don't, don't you give me the bypass. Get, don't you give me the pity pass game. Mm. Oh, 
Ah, a shield, but... Wait. Wrong bed. Ready for it? Goofed up my hit everything with the shotgun plan, but um Yeah, I, I, I salvaged one kill out of that deal. Oh Oh hey the post box. Wonder if I got any literature on you. Oh, the fan. Eh, carny mallet. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I have no clue. I don't think she's telling. Well, probably no. <laughs> Awful lot of elevators just hanging the heck out here. Safety rules. Huh? No item. Hello? Is, oh. there, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. My super blazer never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. I don't blame you. Look at that atrocious artwork. Oh yeah, but there, there's the fridge. There's a save. Uh, next control point. Mm. Well, I got six minutes to fiddle, and Progreso is, of course, Progreso. One elevated down. I just do. I should keep these goons alive. No, oh, like sometimes I like to spawn down here. Time for feeling. Ay, ay, ay. I keep, I keep, I keep, I just, I, I done goofed. I done goofed. It's fine. It's fine. Reload. Do it again.
Okay, level four. Think glob. Don't gotta don't gotta sit through that elevator ride twice. Alright, we got shatter equipped. His notes. Uh, no, thank you. Alright. So there's the altered item. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Yeah. So it's kind of easy to get in front of this time. Okay. Spoke too soon. That's a problem. Whoa! Stevie's kind of a jerk. Management I need to do right now. Worry about weapon stuffs when we get to weapon stuffs. Oh, brother. I remember this fight now. I am not good at this fight. That's what happened to the strike team. Seems great. gonna think about that. Yeah, I shouldn't have even thought about that. I need five or six tries of that. Security. His team didn't stand a chance against the hiss. No one here does. Yeah, but doesn't mean we shouldn't try, my dude. Okay, the TV. Another object of power gone. 
Anchor supplement. Ah, uh, aha. Uh -huh. Ocelot's anchor. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing the... Witnesses described it as a black spear with a faint light behind it. It hovered just below the ship. The crew, by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere, soon after the vessel lost structural integrity, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship shank, the spear lowered into the water. A passing fishing bottle called the rescued her for the rescued the four surviving crew. The agents were dispatched to the White Sausalus last known coordinates. Yeah. And began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the spear. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor from the ocean floor, they noticed the spear behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact of the spear was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the to the U.S. port of Upon arriving in New York, it was brought to the barrow in via the... Let's see... No by order, also its anchor, acquisition date... Panopticon, floor free, unit 7, but that's not where it is that's... right now. Here we go again. Yeah, yeah, here we go again in... Alright, TV, you're gonna behave now. I'm gonna... You gotta stop all this nonsense. Gonna bring me a uh, Rocky and Bo cartoons. TV babysitter, Libertad superhero over the obstacles. Okay. Say, did I shirt change myself? It feels like I did. Let's say, hey, just control speed descent. Newsflash, APB, the hysteric attempt, a broadcast, etc. Oh, hey. Containment procedure, no unique containment procedure required while well bound. A CRT television built by the Benakoff and Sons, uh, built by Benakoff and Sons Electronics. Oh, it's electrics. <clears throat> the screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground up to a maximum observed altitude of Inbound, the object allows paired utilitans to harness this effect for their own use. See report mm. for test results for prime candidate. Mm. The object is bound by. Mm. Which I was first discovered in a local news story from Kansas. A figure had been seen over buildings. The Vero dispatched agents of town who discovered a man named had bound himself to the object. Mr. was detained, and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. Now I can find Oh, Dylan. we have a close-up. Eh, good enough. Not exactly an elegant phone with levitation, but that'll do.
take until next Tuesday. Puta. Gun? Hang it, possess him. Before I could drop and see if I get credit for those anyway. So there's anything cool hidden up there. Uh, nope. Nada, just looks interesting. Alright. That's not safe to say. Okay, gotta hold it. Got it. Yeah. Real awkward flight, but what do you expect? We, we've been able to fly for a whole minute and a half. Oh, brother. Just gotta work our way up. Alright. We thought it was awkward when it couldn't fly before. Boy, howdy. There we go. <sighs> Pretty sure I can go ahead and cycle out Shatter. What the? I think we're gonna call it at our next control point. Alright, another dodge efficiency. Hey, it's the swan boat. Ah, the cooler. Crowbar. That's not anomalous. That just means Gordon Freeman was around. He's so close. Oh, brother. This can't be good. This this just cannot be good. The the hatch in your own section. It's bad. Hello. Can you hear me? Jesse, are you there? Jesse. Okay, good. Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He what? He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected oh, by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We this must isolate him. This is no good, though. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see yep. my brother. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Those were all good plans. Alright, we gotta get it six. I gotta remember to make a trip. Dylan fading observations. Breakfast. Gets out of bed. Uses toilet, returns to bed. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff do so. Lunch is brought. Breakfast removed at noon. Eats lunch, uses toilet, begins to talk to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. Becomes upset, throws lunch tray at glass. Sedated, crew clean cell, the television turned off. Comes to, asks for television turned on. Staff refuse, sleeps, television privileges were refused due to the hospital behavior. Ah, Salvador's ID. Salvador, Lynn. 
Lynn Salvador. That's a hell of a mustache. Ah, it should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. Hey, this idea expired three years ago. I mean... Hee <laughs> hee, hee hee. Uh, uh, let's see if we got anything cool around here. You know, scub it out. Make sure we got no stray collectibles around here. Chair caught. TV you don't have control over. Sink and shitter. Oof. Oh, hello. Alright, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I adore my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me, take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Uh... I always hoped she'd come too, to the Bureau. Oh, that hurts my soul. Why do you think that is? Because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Oregon? I've got to leave this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. Ooh, the... Well, you know, those tiny acts of defiance are part of how you keep yourself seen. I hear tell of. When your life is that regimented, rebellion is, you know, uh, pretty much inevitable. Okay, I, I overshot my exit. But, uh, yeah, this is where we're going to call the session. Hmm, is there another door there? Oh, yeah, it's clean six. Yeah. So that's going to be the end of this session of Control. Thank you for joining us. Those of you new, uh, if you're departing the trash fire, we have more videos if you don't care to leave the, the glow of the trash fire just yet. But should you like to, uh, just stash the loner folding chair, uh, the camp chair under, under the snack table there. Finish up your snack and drinks. Thanks for hanging out. And for everybody else, I've been your humble host, Raspa Trash Chair. Uh, Rasp a Trash Bear. And until next time on Trash Tier Gaming. Take care of yourselves, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next one.